a triangle of ABC. So angle C is a right triangle, so that's important to know. So we'll seize our right triangle. And then um, what they have here is they have, so this is 19. Um, and then label or uh, side A is three. So this is going to be angle A. This will be angle B. This will be side B. So what they want. So they want find the remaining sides and angles. Okay. So um, this is B. All right. So um, because it's a right triangle, we can use a Pythagorean theorem. So we'll do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So um, that means b squared is going to be equal to c squared minus a squared. So b squared is going to be equal to 19 squared minus 3 squared. So b is equal to the square root of that, round to the nearest tenth. I have no idea what this is. But I can calculate it really quick. So it looks like four root 22, but they just rounded it, round it to the nearest uh, tenth. We'll get 18.8, 18.76, or just 18.8. And that's it. Okay, and then um, the remaining sides. So they don't say anything else. Um, so let's see here. We can use the law of sines. So sine of. I'm lost signs. What else could we use? Yeah, we can use a lot of signs. So sine of um, sine of b. So sine of a is equal to three. Equal to sine of c, which is 90 degrees over 19. So sine of a over three is equal to sine of one, which is one over 19. And then um, multiply both sides by 3. So sine of A inverse sine of A. So A is equal to the inverse of uh, 3 over 19. I have no idea what that is. ends up being like 9.1 degrees. So that means that angle B is going to be equal to 90 minus 9.1, excuse me, 180 minus that, which is going to be equal to Eighty point nine. I should have just done it in my head. Okay, and that's it. All right. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you taking the time to watch, and you have yourself a great day.